All right, and welcome back for chapter two. I haven't really done much in the interim. It's been a few days, but um, I tried the first challenge. Um, I tried it as um, as Wheeljack, who I've never really played as before. Um, it was a good test um, to see what his kit's like. Ah, uh, yeah, he, he's more or less the same. He's just got the shield. Um. As you can see, yeah, I did it on um, Warrior, which went fine, and then I tried it, tried it on Commander as Optimus. It took about 15 hits to kill anything. Um, I eventually figured out just using his L1 special, like the little burnout type thing, really helped as a crowd control me uh, method, and I got some pretty good stuff for doing it. I don't know how it gave me double S so, but I am not going to look that gift horse in the mouth. So anyway, story mode. Chapter 2. It's on Warrior this time. I'm not doing this commander. Um, one thing I'll just mention. I've done some weapon synthesizing since. I've got a new good axe for Optimus that I'm going to be using mainly. Um, but for now we're starting with Wheeljack. And we're on Warrior. But as a consequence, um, I'm out of cash, so we need to play. Um, Megatron's plan to cyberform the Earth is underway. The Autobots look for a way into the Proud Star to stop him. Yes. Radio, just to go through, through this real quick. Wheeljack's wrenches. I managed to get this from Devastator. I've just mucked around with it. Pretty cool. Um, these are what you expect. It's a machine gun. These are the lock-on missiles. So, you know, I'm not going to complain. Thanks, Will. One sec. Let's just see. I think I had some... I'm keeping it on Optimus. The reason this is so good on Bumble, Bumblebee is I've got something... Um, some of the skills that increase the fire rate, which makes it, make it bloody godlike. Yeah, this will work a lot better, actually. Cool. Um, wish I could buy more, but no dice. Uh, tech, do we have anything? Let's just see. Well, I, I don't have the cash to develop, so... Um, range attack up by 30, and yeah, range attack up minus 10, huh? Yeah, don't know about that. That feels like the opposite of what I want. Anyway, let's get this going. Sorry if that was a kind of prolonged introduction, but again, that's out of the way. Don't need to deal with it for the, the rest of the, the session. However, the door itself requires a key code. Where do we access the key code? A sentry pot has been deployed, which will transfer the key code to the nearest Cybertronian if it is destroyed. Its location is highlighted on your map. Wheeljack incoming! Radio. so Wheeljack's what you think. I was just seeing if there's any circles and doesn't appear it. So these act as the twin swords basically. As you can see, very similar to side swipe combos. Don't know what happened there. That was weird. I devastate his drills. This weapon, so there's probably a way to get him to fire I'm not quite familiar with, but still. Anyway. Good stuff is always appreciated. Um, the one thing I did buy was... Oh. Actually, sorry, one sec. Um, wait, no, sorry. It's the other pause uh, for move list. Where is it? I grabbed the other rush attack. I don't think it's going to be here. So, I grabbed the one where, with the heavy... If we perform a rush attack using it, so let's see if we can get it going. You mash it. Oh, so we fire missiles, huh, neat. Yeah, Wheeljack loves his range attack, so I remember that much. Like that. Yeah. Don't mess with the geek. He just melts stuff with guns. But, you know, that's because of the tech he already has equipped. Which is pretty rad. Optimus, what exactly is the 
Should have gone to the heavy. I totally forgot he launched missiles at the end of the vehicle attack. Alright, to demonstrate this properly. There we go. Yeah, so I was using using that quite a bit in my Insecticon video from you know like almost a month ago by the time this finally comes out. Uh, so anyway, uh double S, I'm not gonna complain. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, um, well I'm thinking of it. Items. I had to use a lot to make it through that commander mission. I had four of these. And I managed to regain this one, which is rad. But yeah, um, hmm. Bit of a problem with that. Okay, we got this. Ooh, gold. But it's good. There we go. So yeah, the vehicle attack, you know, helped us avoid it, which is pretty cool. Um, there are going to be Insecticons here later on. Also, there we go. Oh. Smash that. Through this way. Yeah, I'm sorry for the clackety-clack, but it's, gonna, it's kind of hard to stop. Oh, fantastic. Um, my picture has betrayed me again. Thank you, TV. Um, wasn't doing it earlier, of course. No, of course not. That, um... Hmm. Only does it when I'm recording. Or, you know, on file 12 in Astral Chain and about to get murdered. That too. Anyway, we're about to engage a fight. That's why I had to deal with that. So, just normal rush attack. Murdered. Hardcore. Yep. Um, so we kind of still saved that. In the context of um, not taking all the damage, yeah. So the gun attacks can cause uh, can prompt a rush attack too, which I'm not going to whinge about. But yeah. Um. All right. Huh. I haven't even upgraded Will Jack's guns. What the hell? I'm not whinging though. Oh, what are you? I know I missed one um, back at that first gate with that second gate with Grimlock, the one where it taught us how to use focus properly. Okay. Good question. It's apparent that neither Megatron nor his Decepticon lieutenants knew for certain what was happening to the city, nor what lies beneath it. However, Megatron's memory of the Golden Age is clearer than most Cybertronians. And so it appears that he, is sus that he suspected that plasma energy was one of the causes of the city's destruction. So there we go. Um, some background. Yeah, we're just going to shoot that. Don't even need to do that. Just fly through this. Easy. Okay, any snipers or something? But yeah, you can already see our uh, mission two, and we we are already reusing. Or, oh, yeah, the experiencing city. these levels it's again. On a divergent path from our own. It's Ow. not from the Decepticons. That Megatron doesn't understand it any more than we do. Ow. Perhaps we can use that to our advantage. Perhaps. Anyway, now the dialogue's over. Let's progress. I was hoping not to get damaged, but alas. Now, I think we lose all momentum here, but I can't remember. This thing melts on easier difficulties. Yes, yes we do. That said, Little Jack is finding a way to make it melt. Drive. We don't need to worry about the others. We're just got to worry about this. So you can imagine with Sideswipe, this is hilarious because of the uh, flamethrower shenanigans. Oh, come on. Let's, uh, let's try the missiles. Okay, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? That's um, that's crazy. That's crazy. Radio. Um. Actually, yeah. Do we get Grimlock after this mission or during? 
Um, see you later, um, friends. Oh yeah, we got a super, cool. I've got to learn how to use this properly. Boys. Okay, how does this work? Okay, so uh, yeah, Will Jack's really strong with guns. We're going for a heavy, so we can mash it out. Yep, that attack is great to get focus on. It's really easy to. Um, so yeah, bombshell. Um, is the one taking care of all the explosions. He's the one I was referencing when we were fighting Mixmaster um, in the last part. Kickback is melee with those kicks that are actually kind of hard to time. Some of them are really easy. Like, it should be way easier than I find it, but, you know, I'm just not as... I'm out of practice. Um, but, yeah, Scrapnel is awesome because it's incredibly easy to abuse the, the lightning strikes. Time to get moving. Very easy to do so. So much so, I found like I've managed to dodge one, um, and then do a combo um, because on Bumblebee I have a ton of up focus time. Oh shit, Mr. Weapon. Oh no, X word would have tragic. Um, I have a ton of bonus focus time in Bumblebee, so I'll pull off a combo, hit a vehicle attack and jump back into the lightning and get a second round of focus. It's rad. So yeah, as you can see, it's the same one from last part, which, you know, it's gonna be way easier. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Arguably taking just as long. Yeah, we can skip that because we know where it is. Okay, hey, we're getting some good stuff. I'm um, sorry, one second, let me just experiment. Light into heavy, into heavy. Got it, okay. Oh! That's why it's doing so much damage, yeah, because I noticed he shoots some missiles. Um. Oh, that's cool. So let's see, if we go heavy, heavy. Yeah, he shoots some missiles out there, like this. Yeah. A little hard to see, but there was a good shot, you know, that three minutes earlier, so. Rightio. Cool. Wheeljack's pretty rad. Autobots, welcome to the Proud Star. The great ship of Nova Prime. It can't be. You mean an Autobot ship is responsible for all the destruction in the city? It appears so, Wheeljack. But I doubt it was an Autobot hand that caused the destruction. Another Cybertronian ship crashed on Earth? What are the odds? Nova Prime's mission was to preserve our culture. The Colonnade of Cybertron was a covenant between all Cybertronians. The Colonnade is comprised of the essential aspects of our lost Cybertronian heritage, and it was placed inside the Pharaoh Taxis, the supercomputer that controls the Proud Star. The Pharaoh Taxis literally carries our culture inside of it. What an historical find that would be. So much art and beauty and history has been lost to find it again. The Pharaoh Taxis controls both the Plasma Core and the Insecticons. It directs the power and gives the Insecticons their function and purpose. Okay, so we find the Pharaoh Taxis and what? Destroy it? It's got so much of our culture in it. We can't do that, can we? No, we can't. We find the plasma core and shut it down. Shutting down the power is the most surefire way to stop the cyber forming. Then we locate the Pharaoh Taxis and preserve our culture, as Nova Prime intended. But for now, stay focused. There are more floors to this ship. We split up and locate the plasma core. Radio, and no matter who you're playing as, you always take the same path. Crazy. Wow. Where do you suppose this is off to? Oh. Got it. These walls are pretty cool. I've got to stop. Got some oh. stuff. What is it? 
Hmm. Oh, so he was correct. And the ship he now controls is indeed the Prout Star of Legend. <laughs> Perverse kind of joy. Yeah, it sounds like Megatron. Felt like the Matrix itself just blinked off and then back on. There is a darkness here. Something that has permeated this place and the Cybertronians who lived here. We will deal with it later if we must. Wow. Ominous much? Yeah, sorry, it kind of pauses during that. I'm used to... Ow. Well, I'm used to not doing that. I'm used to driving through as Bumblebee and just kind of doing this. So I always kind of assumed it was trigger as we got about here. So, my apologies. Chest. Some good stuff. Cool, cool. Oh great, there's a cut about to come up because I'm about to go into here. First of all, pick up this. Starscream. Constant annoyance with Megatron. Appears to be heightened. Mm-hmm. Thundercracker and Skywarp. They're not particularly pleased with him right now. Can confirm in the next mission or so. Yep. Mm. Uh, Thundercracker might have a point. In fact, I kind of agree with him. As will be evidenced by the end of this level. Let's see if we get some help. Alright. Um, this, this is a uh, little boss fight, in case that's not completely obvious. Can we hit it? Can we hit it? Ah, oh, damn it. I know where you live. Come back here. Alright, wait for it. I'm good at this. I'm very good at this. Alright, let's just see what we got. And then I'll cut if this takes too long. Uh -huh. Let's just skip into this. Cool, that's like what I got earlier. That's also cool. Knockdown and burn are rad. Um, the red drop crit, rad. Um, overdrive is good. Overdrive is our little style meter thing I was referencing. To clarify. Okay, we got some stuff. Right, um, I don't know if we even have enough cash to properly synthesize some stuff, so let's just go into this. We have some, maybe not enough. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is most, um, most hap weapons have like uh, a ceiling to their um, leveling up, so to speak. So, for example, if I just do some of this, and merge like a couple more things uh, okay well no it's not going to quite do it um just to go to optimus for example like right now this hammer is as max oh, wait no what is it yeah the burn sniper rifle level five is the highest the d rank can get to don't know how it works with c and um b's but yeah only level five for this so that's why getting My new gear is critical anyway that was pretty concise i think that'll be right I'm just gonna quickly check this. Can we make something? Do we have enough? We do have enough for the good stuff. So this goes a lot slower on the easier one. Bingo. What do we get? Okay, rad. So that's basically um, if we're at max health and we pick up um, green energy on, we get cash. Cool. Last thing I'll do. Oh, nope. Lab by. Oh, that's pretty rad. Battle Blade. Um, Burnout. Yeah, not really useful. Shove is okay. Spin Attack. I think that's what we'll go with. I am garbage at parry. Reversal can be pretty cool, but for now, we'll just go Spin Attack. We'll buy that moveset. I really should utilize Shove way more, but I just don't. Okay, I guess we didn't have to cut that. Cool. That, that was only about two minutes. <laughs> of item management. We'll hit you later. We'll try at least. Tell us what Megatron is sound like. You cannot 
Yep, so uh, that's taken care of. That's also taken care of. Damn it. Damn it. So we did manage to dodge the missile, which is really cool. Okay, yeah, but that's quite a bit. I don't know why I'm hit, trying to hit a uh, heavy there, that's not going to work. Yep, that's his whole get away with it, uh, get away from him mechanic. There we go. Oh, wow, okay. I need you here. The others can take care of them. Understood. Abort mission. Soundwave's running away. Probably the smart play. Megatron has taken control of the ship and the ferrotaxis that operates it. He now commands the Insecticon. Maybe if we blow that I can't hit this thing. What's it up? It'll stop Megatron. Bingo. Sorry, no. side to wipe. We go to the plasma core and disable it. The Pharaoh has the sum total of Cybertronian culture recorded within. If at all possible, we must preserve it. That was well done, me. Screwing up that jump. We got anything? Cool. There's this, but it won't trigger the yeah the mission we are currently on. Sadly. I want to hit this. There we go. Give me health then. All right, more lore. Star Scream Two. All right. <laughs> I didn't realize it was an audio recording. Uh huh. Yeah, um, don't talk, don't talk smack about Blitzwing. EC, what did someone call him? The sundowner of this game. Seems about right. Okay, let's just go to this. Oh, yep, there we go. Nice and usable. I thought we swapped. Guess not. I bet you don't. Damn it. I'm screwing this up. I'm really screwing this up. Not showing off. Um, oh, wow. So that's it. You're dodging it really well, huh? We'll dodge that. Dodge that shit, Lord. Now more break out. While we're, while we're doing this, let's show this off. Okay, so yeah, this shield's actually pretty rad. Okay, it blocks most, but not all. Um, point mate. Yeah, so we can just hide behind this if we wanted, but that's the coward way. Get stuffed. Ooh. Is this the attacker, or...? Yep, that's the kick. Yeah, man, we have that awkward, weird slide I was getting. Nice slow down there. I'll honestly have an easier time in the 1v1s um, against the bigger Insecticons, I think. Yeah, you know, assuming my damage output's good enough. Okay, yeah, I'm getting more into it now. Oh, damn it. I, I left it too late. But that dodge is probably easier on the big ones too, actually. Gives you more to work with. You have the last one, are you? No, nope, there's one more somewhere. Where you at? No. Nope. Oh, there you are, buddy. wondering where you were. Thanks for showing up, man. Oh, we have a mission here. I 
don't remember what it is, but quickly, we just, well firstly, we're just going to quickly run around the arena, or drive rather, and grab some goodies. Yep. Nothing particularly interesting to be completely honest. Kind of just go around the arena. Alright, let's have a look. So that, so that means we missed one earlier. Oh no. Oh. Oh, it's hit the hidden items. Got it. Okay, yeah, so we should take him down way easier that way. Is there only three or something? Okay, yeah, there's more. At least. There's a couple. Oh wow, Focus actually screwed me up. There, why am I ending up over there? It's try- okay, it's trying to lock me on so I can do the whole, um, slam into them. Got it. Alright, that would explain it. Still, that was weird, that kept happening. Now, yeah, well. Some good stuff. So you can do that, but you don't really need it. Yeah, so just some basic platforming, which is actually pretty good in this game. I don't mind it at all. Oh, you guys. On the harder difficulty, one of the big kickbacks shows up. Oh, he was going for it. I totally forgot Wheeljack had the whole um, explosives on his vehicle attacks. That makes him really fun, actually. Yep, still safe. Making, uh, making it, yeah, making sure I understand how worthwhile it was to buy it. There's quite a few of them there, so let's just screw our ranking for a second and go over here. We are leaving the fight. That's fine by me, because we've got stuff over here. Uh-huh. There's going to be some stuff I missed, don't worry, there'll be some secrets. Damn, was hoping to hit that. Alas. I'll get you on the way back. And we got... Oh, two chests. Crazy. Yep. Rad. And over here. A lot of goodies. Try Fool Jack, try. And now back to the fight. I have some bad news. There is a large swarm of insecticons heading in your direction. It is too dangerous to fight them all at once. There is a solution. According to the map data, there should be a cargo lift close by. First, head there. Ow. Well played, me. That's exactly what I should have done. Oh, he's still alive, huh? I was going to say that was cute, but I realized I was almost going to get hit, so... I sh probably shouldn't have been talking shit. Yeah, commentary's being a little light this part, just because I'm dealing with a lot of crowd control. There we go. So, yeah, I managed to abuse the uh, lightning strike. And again... I'm sure that's intended design. Oh, didn't keep it. I couldn't keep it going. We had that awkward slide again. There'll be a few more. Yep, they'll fly out of here. Again, there'll be some big kickbacks amongst them on the harder difficulties. You can probably hit the controller going bloody nuts. Beautiful. Alright, we have this. I have definitely missed some Decepticon flags, don't worry. I, I, I know. And I'm willing to embrace the fact I clearly have. Shockwave. I get the impression there might be one along here though. Alright, Caretaker Cybertron ever since Megatron departed to chase Optimus. 
Um, unyielding loyalty to both Megatron and Logic. Um, yep, his voice rarely wavers. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, no, he understands excitement and all that. I've seen that gif of him dancing. That's a classic. Megatron looked kind of displeased in the background. Ah, Shockwave destroys Autobots with Fax and Logic. Ah. No, I wouldn't watch that. Fuck Ben Shapiro. <laughs> anyway. Now I have, you know, now I've potentially alienated part of my audience. In which case, good riddance, I guess. Um, uh, Rail Shooter. Like in every Platinum game. This one's pretty rad. It's honestly hard not to get double S. I haven't got any lower, um, any time I've done this. And I played this a lot, um, for the Insecticon video. I didn't use any of the footage, of course, but... It's pretty straightforward, as you can see. Um, Bumblebee tends to loop his lines quite a bit, so I'm interested to see if, uh, sound, if, um, Wheeljack is, you know, has similar issues in that regard. I should leave you those explosive ones is probably the better part, the better play. The return radius is a little stiff, though. I left those guys in front of me way too long, I was pushing them there. I mean, it's pretty hectic, but it's not actually that hard. Yeah, see? If you get no damage and you do it basically at the pace it kind of intends, easy. Yeah, let's just get that out of the way. So I have a great tendency here to um, fly off the edge chasing this guy with a vehicle attack. Okay, so we've gone to Varenches. I'd rather use the drills here. Which is normally what I use for Bumblebee anyway, so I'm quite used to this. Oh no, it's going to happen, isn't it? Okay, we're less likely to chase him off because, well... There's, there we go. That's what I was looking for. We don't have two vehicle attacks, so I'm way less likely to fall for it. Beautiful. Wow, Wheeljack's really good. I feel like I knew this at some point. Oh, I checked that out, but well... The PlayStation's gonna crack it because I'm not hooked up to the internet. A proud start, number one. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to read to see if there's anything worth saying out loud, but... I mean, pause the video if you want to read this. I'm sure someone's logged him, though. You can probably read him somewhere on the internet. Might just be a little hard to find. Alright. We are making progress. That's for damn sure. Are you ready for another fight already? Because that's what's up ahead. And screen tearing, too. Don't worry. Lots of that. Yeah, that um, explosion is actually awesome um, for dodging purposes. I've got a really good shot in the video where I um, I dodge into it, but you can also knock him out of it, which is right too. So there, I mistimed it, but I still... Yeah, same thing there. I mistimed it, but I got it on the um, explosion being shot out. Almost had it there too, by pure luck. Yep. Yeah, the uh, missiles are a little slower than I like. But they are powerful. Might go for some rush attack in a second. Oh! Man, I should have been ready for that. that that's telegraphed as hell. Yeah, that's the Larry that I love using his Bumblebee. Let's go for a charge just to spice things up. A dodge, and... 
Yeah, B rank's fair. That's fair. I um I should have done better there. That's for damn sure. Right, uh, is there anything here? I feel like there's something off to one of the sides. Obviously, this is not a 100% run. That would be asinine. That'd be crazy. But I feel like around here there's something. We can't land on that, but let's try. Oh yeah, we can. Huh. So how do we how do we get back up there? How does this work? We got a fall, I guess. Huh. Yeah, this is to prevent us getting past it, so... There must be something up ahead. Yeah, this is a death field. They don't want us going this way, so let's have a look. Yeah. Again, still safe, proving it's worth... Okay, so you just climb back up here. Oh, cool. Didn't know that. That's rad. You learn something new every day. Well, except you don't. This time I actually did. Yeah, you you always miss these with rush attacks. It's kind of annoying. So here's a new gimmick. Ow. <laughs> well played. Well played, me. Missing the chest too. That's also great. Yep. Just got through. Our V section is pretty rad. Ah, uh, so we missed the flag. I forgot that was there until too late. But I believe there is a Crimson down there too, actually. So, um, man, this one's slow. Really slow. There's a Crimson bouncing down there. Sorry, should've just gone through, but I know this is here, so, yeah. In fact, I should've just shot. That would've gone over way better. Here yeah, you are. Come here, shitlord. Gotcha. Alright, now if we get to the other side fast enough, we'll be able to shoot the flag, no problem. Yeah, so the platforming's actually really good in this game. It's simple. Okay, no, I don't think we'll be able to get it. It's simple. But, you know, it doesn't have to be anything too complex. But, the use of speed in this game really makes me think Platinum could pull off an awesome Sonic game. I've said it before, but, you know, bears repeating, I guess. Alright, settle down on... We set down on a, a planet that needed no cyberforming. Um, I had supplies we needed. Um, mm -hmm. Another planet so like Cybertron itself. It was as if Primus Hand had shaped the planet. There was no small, small life to speak of. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Right, anyway, that's enough of that. Wait a minute, did I just see something I hadn't noticed? Okay, yeah, there's there's a whole switch page for the longer logs like this. But you know, um, we're not we're not the Varty of Transformers devastation. I apologize. Again, like I mean, I don't even really care about lore and souls to begin with. Ah, uh, you gotcha. Yeah, I could go back for that. Wait a minute. Hold on, what am I doing? Okay, no, there's no, um, no, we can't reactivate it, damn it. Unless this does. Come on. Damn it. Ugh, I normally nail that as Bumblebee. Which is weirder, because I'm go way faster with Bumblebee as well. Yeah, the jumps aren't very hard or anything. It's pretty simplistic, but, yeah, it's fun for what it is. Some of these jumps get harder in later missions, that's for sure. Yep. That's the part I, I always forget. That's a, just about the hardest jump, to be honest. And even then, nothing too exhilarating. So I don't think you can get up there, but... Who knows? Maybe you can. Maybe you can. Yeah, fuck that one in particular. And that one. And that one. And you guys. And you... 
Oh, cool uppercut. Is that a shoyu? Maybe. I don't know. Whatever. Guys, we might have a problem. With the unpredictability of plasma energy, there's a chance that if we blow it up, it'll take half of Earth with it. Uh, define chance. My figures aren't precise, but at current calculations, roughly 92.787% chance it will detonate. Bottom line, use extreme caution around the plasma core. Yeah, basically. Um, files. We just picked up one. Let's have a look. Oh, oh God. Oh, why is this? <laughs> this there's so much backstory. I, I'm good. I'm good. All right, let's have a quick look to see what goodies we got. Let's see if we can buy any more moves. Um, any particularly rad weapons. Cry gloves. Okay. Heavy sniper. Cool. Three slots. That's pretty cool. Yeah, honestly... Um, for more skill slots, the better the weapon, generally speaking. I mean, that's stating the obvious, but... Alright, cool. Yep, okay. No, I just want to confirm. Okay. Um, let's just quickly check what we can get. We can grab... Reversal. So I'll try to use that this fight. Upon achieving focus, hold Heavy or Light, or L2 to perform a vicious counterattack. Parry, I'm shit with, and this is the wrong fight to try it on, because kickback will kick the crap out of me. Um, shove. Um, back forward, heavy, got it. Cool, burnout's not very useful. Um, maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe it has a, a combat application I'm thinking of. Yeah. We accelerate pretty fast, anyway. I guess I'll stick with Wheeljack, because why not? We've done most of the mission as him, so... Yeah, let's keep it going. Oh, hey, it's this song. Never heard this one before, I think. There we go. Again, like, why I'm so used to mashing. Kind of reminds me of Astral Chain in the sense of the presence of the sync attacks kind of encourage you just to mash it out to get the combo. There we go. Which is, um, you know, something I should just fight and not give into, but... And heavies are not the ones I should be going for with this, but hey, here we are. Rad. So this is another fight where half health will trigger something, except it's not kickback fleeing, because he's a coward. It's this. Yeah, these guys have way less health, by the way. Oh crap, it's happening. I gotta heal. I'm sorry. I gotta... I'm gonna take... If I take a single hit, I was gonna die, so... And the camera's not great. I swear, if I get through this without taking a single hit, I'll be proud of myself and ashamed I had to heal. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Okay, wasn't expecting that. If you think, man, he should just be targeting one and focusing him down. Yeah, absolutely. Fight him up, sadly. Oh, yeah. I got greedy there. Go pretty there too. Bombshell's dead. I'm very much out of practice against these chuck these chuckle fucks. Yeah, we're just giving them a whole non-swearing thing, who cares? What are they gonna do? Demonetize my videos I don't monetize. 
There's another one I want. Focus on. You are. What? Let's see if we can get through that. Okay, no, I'm, I'm cowarding out. Sorry. I'm not taking any chances now. We're too far for it. Yep, come on. Fight my turtle style. I was trying to go for a reversal there. Oh. I was also trying to go for a reversal there too. Maybe he's not the one to try that. Yep, he's not the one to test this out on. Let's try to get like a cool last shot. Come on. Still an A rank. Still an A rank. Now to capture the plasma core and pass. Man, this game's way harder the first time around than I remember. It's not even very hard, it's just you don't do nearly as much damage as I'm used to. Bumblebee's great for this again because of um having two big attacks makes this rad. Go for the big rush. Actually, Wheeljack's probably really good for this too. Due to the whole missiles and all that. Yeah, so we're up to the second phase of this. Again, this never takes long at all, which is what I was referencing on the video of the music I posted for this, because it's over relatively quickly. 36 seconds, yep. That's slow. Anyway, that's that's done. File 2 is already over. The ship is powered down for now. But if we allow Mechatron to retrieve the Plasma Core before we find it, our victory here will not matter. We must move quickly.